Hey guys, so today's problem is a really interesting, very old problem actually in math. So I'll get right to it. So we have a man and he has a really odd task. He has to take a wolf, a goat and cabbage across a river. Here's a caveat. His rowboat has enough room for the man himself plus either the wolf or the goat or the cabbage. If he takes cabbage with him, the wolf is going to eat the goat. If he takes the wolf, the goat is going to eat the cabbage. Only when this man is present are the goat and the cabbage safe from the enemies. So, all the same, he manages to carry wolf, goat, and cabbage across a river. How does he do it? So I'll give you a, a couple of minutes to, th to think about this. You can pause the video, think about it, and then come back with a solution. And I'm not going to give a solution right away. I'm going to first lay out the problem and help you think about it. And when uh, I kind of lay it out, you can pause it again and try to solve it for yourself. Or you can just watch the entire video in one take. So let's think about this. As always, we want to break things down into, um, you know, simpler notation. So let's break this problem down. So we have cabbage, let C be cabbage. We have a wolf, let W be wolf. And we have a goat, let G be a goat. And we have the shepherd or whoever he is, the person. Just give it a smiley face. What do we know so far? So we know that he can travel. So currently he is on one shore, right? Shore one. And he wants to get to shore two. And he wants to get all of these guys right here over to that shore and he manages to do it. Now, remember, there are some caveats about what the relationships between cabbage, wolf and the goat. The wolf is going to eat the goat if left alone with the, with the goat and goat is going to goat is going to eat the cabbage. So we need to get them across. And what are, what are the rules for travel? So on the boat, there is a space for the man and one more item. So you can bring one item at a time. And let's diagram the relationships. We got cabbage, wolf, and goat. We know that goat is going to eat the cabbage if left alone and wolf is going to eat the goat. Do you notice anything about this from a relationship perspective? Well, right away, we can see that goat seems kind of like the problematic one, right? Because we can have cabbage and wolf, right? That's okay. Wolf is not going to eat the cabbage. But leave wolf alone with a goat and wolf is going to eat the goat. That's bad. And leave goat alone with cabbage, goat is going to eat the cabbage. That's bad as well. So what we're going to try to do is to get to the, we know that at a certain point, we're going to have to have cabbage and wolf on the other side, right? So let's look at this. Let's start diagramming this. We have cabbage, wolf, goat, and the person on one shore. And here is the other shore. Now, obviously you want to bring, we want to create this combination, cabbage and wolf first on the right side. Uh, what, can we try this? Can we do this? What if we bring cabbage over? 
If we bring cabbage over, the wolf is going to eat the goat. If I bring wolf over, the goat is going to eat the cabbage, right? So that's no good. That's the tricky part of it. We see that goat is kind of the weakest link. The goat can't really be al left alone with any of them, right? And remember that remember that cabbage, wolf, goat, and the person all together, they're okay. As soon as you leave them alone with each other, cabbage, uh, wolf, and goat, uh, what, what's going to happen is uh, cabbage is going to be eaten by a goat, and wolf is going to eat the goat. Ch chain, chain of life. Anyways, goat is problematic. Let's get rid of the goat. So, we have our person, wolf, goat, and cabbage, right? On one shore. And we have another shore. So first trip, let's get rid of the goat. So, we're gonna take the goat and the person, person's always traveling, and we're gonna move. So now, what does that lead to? Now that the, he traveled over, he's on the other side of the shore, and the goat is over. On the other side of the shore, we have wolf and cabbage, right? Now, wolf is not going to eat the cabbage, and goat is happy with the guy on the other side, right? Okay, perfect. So what do we do now? Well, let's come back for more stuff. So we return. So now, he returned to the shore. He's there with wolf and cabbage, and goat is safely on the, other, on the other side, right? So what do we do now? Well, we know that we want to create, eventually, cabbage and wolf on uh, the other side. So let's get to that. Uh, well. We can pick either one. Let's grab let's grab cabbage first, right? And let's travel with the cabbage across to the other shore. Okay. So, after we travel to the other, to the other shore, we have cabbage, goat, and the man. And on the other side is the wolf. Now, as you remember, yes, goat would eat the cabbage, but in the presence of the person, not gonna do it. He's, he's gonna have a guilty conscience, just not gonna do it. So we got wolf on one side, and uh, cabbage, goat, and the person on the other side. So what do we do now? Uh, well, uh, now that we have cabbage, goat, and the person on the other side, we, again, the point is we can't bring the wolf over yet. The goat is problematic. Let's move the goat and isolate the goat by himself. I know it's mean, but we got to do it because the goat just cannot be with the wolf or cabbage alone, right? So let's take the goat and the person and travel over to the wolf. Now we have wolf, goat, and the person, and on the, on the other side we have the cabbage. Remember, yes, wolf would eat the goat, but the person is here, so the wolf is going to feel guilty doing it, not going to do it. So, what do we do now? We wanted to isolate the goat and we did it. So, now, let's bring the wolf over to the other shore. Now we're going to have cabbage and the wolf. Wolf is not interested in the cabbage and the person over on one shore, and on the other shore, shore we have a goat. Boom, we're so close, almost there. The person now travels back to the shore. Now it's gonna be goat and the person, and we have cabbage and wolf on the other side. Remember, cat, wolf does not eat the cabbage, and cabbage definitely does not eat the wolf. Um, so now the person just brings the goat over, and what do we have left? Now we have goat, cabbage, 
and wolf and the person happily on the other side. So it might have seemed like a tricky problem, but really it all just comes down to the relationships, right? Um, to the relationships between um, the goat, the cabbage, and the wolf. Again, going back, we knew that the wolf was going to eat the goat, right? Um, and goat is going to eat the cabbage to so draw out these relationships. Right away, we see that goat is problematic. We want to bring the goat over um, and isolate him. And only that way can we get all three across the river. All right. Thank you for watching. Cheers.